Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Hope you had a great 4th of July weekend. Did you keep it safe? Did you keep it sane? Awesome. I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, we had a lot of fun here in Texas, uh, but we're back. We're back to the magic reviews, doing magic reviews every single day, Tuesday through Thursday, Tuesday through Friday, probably. I do deck reviews on Monday. I do book reviews, magic book reviews on Friday, and then on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, doing magic reviews, doing it all for you so that you know exactly what you're buying. Okay, I don't want to tell you what to buy. I just want to tell you what you get, right? You buy it, you fork out your $24 to, uh, to, to Verde Magic, and you're like, okay, what am I going to get? This is Furia. This is Furia for Merpin and Verne Magic. All right, Furia, what is it? Well, the ad copy says it's a postmodern take on Thimble Magic. Okay, it's Thimble Magic. It's, it's, a, it's a whole uh, Thimble routine. Actually, it's a couple of routines. It's like five routines. Uh, there is one long routine right at the very beginning. There's a big, long four-minute routine that kind of goes over all the different ins and outs and all the, all the things you'd expect from a Thimble routine. And then there's four more additional routines, a little bit smaller routines uh, that you can do, some variations that Merpin's going to walk you through. So let's say you pay your $24 to your favorite magic dealer, what will you get? Uh, you're going to get a smallish size box, and then inside that, you're going to get 23 white and multicolored, very bright thimbles. Is it what I thought? Well, yeah, it's what I thought. I mean, the, the thimbles aren't gimmicked in any way, okay? Uh, they're shaped in a way that allows you to hold more, palm more, but I mean, they're totally inspectable. They're gonna, they look like, you know, little colored plastic thimbles. Um, I don't do thimble magic. My only experience with it is watching Shoot Agawa. Uh, Shoot Agawa um, uh, has done thimble magic and, and there's some other classic guys out there that have done it too. So that's kind of like my only, uh, my only knowledge about it, but I'll give you some recommendations at the end of this as well. Um, is it well made? Like I said, they're multicolored plastic thimbles, they stack well. Uh, they're gonna do exactly what you need. Let's talk about the 50 minute instructional video. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? You got the artist, he is performing in French and he is dubbed with another voice. Now at the very beginning, you're gonna get the four minute routine and it's done kind of slapstick. So the dubbed voice is very silly. The dubbed voice will change to a more normal tone for the explanation uh, the teacher is teaching against a red Verne curtain. The first routine, the four minute routine, is gonna be the longest one taught. And in the routine, he doesn't even call them thimbles. Uh, he calls them the reappearing annoying objects. Uh, you're also gonna get standard uh, waist high shots plus over the shoulder shots so that you can see exactly what you are doing. Aside from the four minute show, there are four other routines taught. One is a flash production. The other is a 10 thimble production. There's a multicolor changing act and one that even uses billiard balls. Now we're not gonna go into pocket space because this is a parlor or stage effect, right? This is something that you are coming out uh, ready to do. Angles wise, you're gonna have to be good at palming and ditching and loading. A lot of the times you're saying one thing and doing another. This is a routine, right? It's a routine with patter, movement, everything. Uh, we talked about whether they could be inspected or not, but again, it's parlor or stage. People aren't going to be asking to inspect your thimbles. I don't even think they're going to think that the thimbles are magic, right? I think they're going to think that, that you are really good at sleight of hand. It's a, this is a sleight of hand presentation. They're just going to think that you're really good at uh, shenanigans, right? Practice wise, I think it's definitely going to take practice, especially if you've never done thimble magic before. That said, if you've never done Thimble Magic before, I think this is a great introduction because Merpin is going to cover all the basics. So positives, again, I'm going to say that if you are new to Thimble Magic, this is a great introductory set. Not only are you going to get brightly colored thimbles that will work well at a distance, that'll work great for parlor or stage, great for kids parties as well. Uh, you're going to get a series of white thimbles that will allow you to do some other routines. So you're getting a lot of great props and about an hour's worth of teaching that's really gonna cover all the basics. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? Um, I'm gonna say that voice over voice sometimes gets hard to listen to. Um, 
I don't know if he's trying to copy the teacher's voice or if he's doing it in his own voice, but sometimes it just kind of sounds silly. And you know, the, the only person watching is, is me, <laughs> right? The consumer. I'm not watching it as, as entertainment. So I don't, I don't need to have the, the silliness added, I guess. But yeah, that was just me. Is it worth your money? It's $24. I say it's a good price, right? $24 for a nice little introductory kit is good. Who would like this? Definitely if you're gonna do children's shows, I think this is a great children's show prop, especially with the dif different colors and the silliness of the routine. Parlor as well, Parlor is a good uh, place for this. I don't know how you know back you could go on stage because of the size of the, the props, but maybe a uh, school assembly I think would work good too. Now normally at this point, I would probably tell you to go watch some other reviews from other channels. Um, better than that, I think if you wanna watch some people who are really good at thimble magic so that you can kind of get a better understanding if this is maybe your style too or if this is something you would want to get into i would definitely look into uh john carney paul rossini mike skinner and of course cardini all right that's everything i can say about furia from murpin and vernay magic of course i want to thank vernay for allowing me to have this so that i could do the review for you and if you want to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite magic dealer. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. But wait, are you not getting enough magic orthodoxy in your life? Not getting enough of your very favorite magic reviews? Good news. You can join this channel. That's right. You can join Magic Orthodoxy for only $1.99 a month. $1.99 gives you access to eight brand new videos every single month. Eight eight new videos that are unseen by the rest of the world. You will have exclusive access to them. Plus, if you join right now for a buck 99, you'll get access to over a hundred videos that are already in the membership section. That's right, a hundred videos. What kind of content? Even more magic videos, top 10 lists, best of the year, head to head magic tricks, and my exclusive thoughts on performance and theory. Two extra videos every single week, $1.99. Just scroll down to where it says Magic Orthodoxy. There's a button next to it that says Join. Click the Join button and it'll walk you through a series of menus that'll hook you up and get you access today.